Welcome to Sailing Kuru. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that like button. Ria and I have set out to circumnavigate our planet in our sailing catamaran Kuru with no sailing experience at all. If you like our content, please hit that little bell to be notified whenever we upload new videos. After Massimo settled in and we spent an awesome day at Ibiza's oldest hippie market, we picked up anchor and sailed back east towards Mallorca. We decided to quickly head over to the east coast, where we haven't been so far, to explore a few small towns before we head up to Puerto Petro and prepare our crossing to Menorca. It's an approximately 40 nautical mile sail to Puerto Petro and the weather looked promising. It's a sad week for all of us, because we will lose all crew this time. Ria's mom leaves us after almost two months on Coru. Massimo's one-week vacation is coming to an end and Christine is moving on to head over to Canada and the Seychelles. Good morning. So we left Ibiza in kind of a hurry because we really run out of water so there's no more washing dishes and showering and no more water at all and there was no possibility to fill up water tanks anywhere here on Ibiza and yeah kind of a bummer it was really beautiful here we really liked it and um, but now we are heading back to Mallorca <laughs> We had a nice westerly breeze pushing us towards the island, but only a few hours later it was flat, calm again and steaming hot. Not even the dolphins felt like playing. Rhea heard a weird noise like something dropped onto her hardtop from above. At first we had no idea until Massimo found a tiny little teflon ball. We lowered the sails and saw that the top card of our sail track system has come apart. Well, not much we can do right now, so we continued our routine. And yes, that is part of my routine when on passage. I think I'm gonna change the whole thing, man. Due to the ball bearing incident and a leaking head, we decided to stop over in Estrink. <laughs> okay, so um, on our sail from uh, Portals Vels to uh, Estrink, um, we encounter, encountered some high winds or some rather high winds of 26, 27 uh, knots. And uh, we discovered that we have a problem with the with these sleds. We already had a problem. There was one time that the the sail wouldn't like calm down smoothly, so I had to pull it down. And now uh, we found like a little um, uh, plastic ball or a little uh, pebble or how, uh, whatever you want to call it. And these are inside these uh, these sleds here. They, they they make them roll better, right? So um, I don't know why, but this one looks like all the balls are are more or less gone, and um, there is like there is like uh, metal dust everywhere, so it chafes off somewhere, and there's even um, like metal little metal pieces coming off. On the, but it's on the sled, so I don't know if there's something on top of the mast which is which is uh, pr preventing it from like going all the way up or, or coming down. So uh, I don't know. I'm gonna take this apart and see um, if I can find anything. And if not, we probably have to like um, go up there and uh, see what happens. If, if, and if the track is damaged, you know, or if it's okay if we just. Uh, I'll switch out the sled here. We'll see. Never a dull moment. <laughs> We started to take things apart from which we had no idea how they work. Koru style. Learning by doing. Well, we still had our Genoa to sail with if we'd had to, so we just went for it. Turned out that the Teflon balls that roll along the track were completely dry and got jammed up in between cart and the mass track. 
It shaved off parts from the groove in the aluminum cart and pop, pop, popped out one by one. It was probably, it was definitely the lack of maintenance received by us that caused the problem. Again, learning by doing. We spent the night and the next morning sailed to Cala Satore in Porto Petro. With a little help of my friends online, I even got the head pump back together without any major incidents. Life is good. Now we just arrived at the uh, buoy in, what is it, Cala Torre or something on the east coast. Because um, the, the two base before we wanted to go they were way too small and the swell was coming in so we decided to go on a buoy for like two nights it was 35 euros tonight and we are like five people so it's kind of a bargain I really enjoy being here not to have to check on other boats and anchors and, and just relax for, for a change oh. <laughs> we deserve this and I get to edit a little bit. As you might know, we have spent a lot of time on the boat with Ria's mom, Monica. She's the superstar that cooks while on passage, cleans when everyone is seasick and gives the best massages in Koru. Oh, and she's a yoga teacher for 35 years. It's amazing. It was time to say our goodbyes. Ria went to Palma with her mom to make sure she catches her flight and to spend some quality time with her. Bye bye, see you tomorrow. And you let me know if you need some stuff from the big city. Will do, don't spend too much money. Hello, um, I went today um, by bus with my mom close to Palma Airport because she is leaving tomorrow morning and so we thought it's way easier to go the day before and check out Palma a little bit, maybe go for a nice dinner at Restaurant Tinto one more time and yeah for me it's nice for a change to be in a real hotel room. <music> Well, what's happening or what was happening is that um, our top cart from the slider system, from the, the, the batten sails, um, kind of, I don't know, it just broke the, the, the balls of the ball bearing um, tracks around it uh, came loose and it's... I'll show you in detail a little later. So we uh, ordered this replacement and um, it just came today. It, uh, we didn't really wait long, only like two days maybe or something. Yeah, so we were lucky, yeah. luckily they had it on in stock, so um, it didn't take long. And um, it's supposed to be a another version without the balls and the ball bearings, which is supposed to be much better. So I'm very excited how this looks like, and if everything is in there that we need. So these are the uh, Teflon rods, they go in here and it's supposed to be much much better than the old system, I'm going to show you in a second. <laughs> so this is the that other system with those um, ball bearings or the balls in here. <laughs> show you the balls. And here this is like all, this all came, I don't know like if this happens, if the balls are like jamming up in between this 
and the track, which is this one here, right? It goes like this. And the new one looks like this. And it doesn't have those balls, it has those rods that you just put in between here. I think. Yep. So this is, and it's much easier to load as well. I mean, imagine if you have to like fill all these little balls in. I don't even know how it's done. It, need, it has to be done like, like so somehow, and then you pour the balls in here. I don't know. So uh, yeah, this looks really good. <laughs> Wanna go install it? Okay, let's boogie. Slide it in. Um, it, sh it should. It should. I don't know. I mean, you can't like put your fingers in there. It felt great to be able to fix our boat again. We are very happy with the new PTFE rods they use in this slider system. It makes our lives much easier and we're ready to cross over to Menorca. We had a date with our good friend Sybil, who is accidentally always spending Swiss National Day with us for the past few years. So I guess we're making it a tradition now. Better make it next time, Sybil. Please give us a like and subscribe to our humble channel. If you would like to support our video production, you can do that with a little donation or even a subscription on our Patreon site. I put the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you out there.